But when you're in Guyana, you have to say "duff" when you're eating the metem G. It's not dumplings. Not dumplings. Dumplings is soup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome foods, welcome to the Backyard Cafe. Don't forget, eat, live, love, laugh. That's what we are about. Enjoy the show and I'll see you when I see you. Peace and love. So from the marketplace, when we went into the fish market, we got butterfish here, Stacy, right? And I want you to get your hands up in there and mix it all up. What I have here for the season, this is gonna be a pan sear butterfish with some garlic. I got some chili flakes in there. I got me a pesto and garlic right inside that, that paste right there. So you want to get salt, black pepper, and that is about it with some lemon that in. Get it all, all mixed up with everything. Rub it in together. Let it soak up all that goodness. And this pan seared butterfish is going with our oh metem G. Look at that. Oh gosh. Bubbling metem G. Oh, this smells so good. Oh, I can smell the so, lemon juice. I with the metem G, you got the sweet plantain. You have garlic. breadfruit right here. You have edo. You got green plantain. You got sweet potatoes. All right? Cooked up with coconut milk. And last but not least, what makes the metem G a metem G? The duff. And this is our coconut duff. Remember, the theme for today is coconut. So, this is our coconut duff, and it's cooked with loud coconut milk. Proper things. Seared. You want that. You don't want your butter to burn, right? So I took it off the fire. Let that butter melt nicely. See that bubble? You smell the butter? Mm. What do you think, Stacy? Oh, man. That right? smells so good already. Rich, creamy goodness. Yeah. Now we're going to be adding our butterfish to the pan. Our butterfish to the butter. Skin, yes, skin side down. That's right. Nice and tight. You want to get all your fish in here. Yeah, you want all your garlic, your sauce, you want everything from that bowl in that pan. Spread it around that pan. Let it catch the butter. Thank you. So what I'm going to do here now is get you some nice lime juice. Beautiful. In the kitchen, clean hands. And folks is gonna, oh, but he's not using gloves with the thing. You cannot use glove over heat. That latex would actually no. leave more damage no. than anything else. It's not help, it's not going to help. So please do not do that. Um, Do not listen to people. Earlier we had um, pepper pot, which is an example of our indigenous food. This is an example of our African heritage. That's right. So wow. we're, we're tasting two different sides of our ethnic lines today. Amazing. Fresh butterfish. And don't let these goodness go to waste. So you want your pan to be clean. I can smell the garlic. Yes. See that? And that's practically finished. Practically finished on, 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 on one side. Right here. You give it a turn, let that butter come on all sides. This is always the perfect thing to go with um, the MSMG. It's yep. always perfect. When that, the, the flakiness of the fish melts into the broth, perfection. So, the duck has to be in the plate right there. You get a piece of everything. Cassava, yuca, sweet plantains. Sweet potato. Breadfruit. That's breadfruit. Oh, that's breadfruit. Breadfruit and edo. 
sweet potatoes there. Hey, so somewhere. They hide it, huh? Yeah, they hide it. This is sweet potatoes. All right. Sweet potatoes. And now you have the lady fingers, okra, gumbo, right on top. And a little bit of pepper. Ah. Yep. Yeah. Gotta get that sauce in there. That's the power of the um, metem. Garnish that. And then we get a piece of butterfish. Right on top. Get some of this butter sauce. Butter and garlic. Yes, Stacy. <laughs> I love the charm with the garlic. It's not yeah. overdone, it's just perfect. That's correct. Oh, wow. Man. All right, Chef, let's do this. I'm yes. excited. All right, so. Metam G? Cheers. Metam G. Cheers. Yeah. So, how do we start this? Metam G. Taste the go with the broth first. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Dude, you taste that rich coconut. Mm hmm. I'm getting some of the fish. Wow. Pan seared butterfish that we just bought. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. This is too good. Mm, I love it. It almost feels like one of these like peanut sauces in yeah. a way. The, the texture, right? Yeah. I'm getting some sweet plantain. Can mm. I do metam G without sweet plantain? Mm-hmm. Mm oh incredible fish. Yeah. Wow, the combination. So you get that, get some of the sweet plantain. I'm going in for the duff. The duff, I don't even know what's the difference here now. The duff is the dumpling. Uh, uh, uh. In Metam G. That's that one, right? That's correct. In Metam G, it's called duff. You cannot, when, when you're in Guyana, you have to say duff when you're eating a Metam G. It's not dumpling. Not dumplings. Dumplings is soup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. The duff is moist. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. So what's the potato potato dumpling? Is that what it this, is? No, this is the coconut dumpling. Coconut dumpling. Coconut dumpling. Oh wow, so everything's coconut. Right. Here. Everything's coconut. The theme for today is coconut. Right? And and we said not to say dumplings and we said coconut dumpling. That's oh, amazing, man. <laughs> I love it because it's like a thick broth mm -hmm. with all these everything's a vegetable, right? Root vegetables, you add the root the vegetables, lady right? finger, mm -hmm. and you add the fish, but can you add something else? Chicken you can or anything else? You or? can add the pig tail. Mmm. Right? Uh, 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 a smoked chicken, really good. Salt fish. Salt fish. Salt fish. You put it right on top. My goodness. I'll tell Exquisite. you, like, I'd use the broth on everything. Everything. Yeah, oh, yes. Man. Just put it on everything. Yeah, man. And, and here, you have to use real coconut milk. Real coconut milk. If you use anything from the can, cooking Guyanese food, it's not Guyanese food. Not Guyanese food. Yeah. I know. It's real, the real deal. Now I'm going in for the okra. Okra. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Lady finger. Mm-hmm. Mm. The, so the true name for okra is gumbo. Came from West Africa. And okra came with the slaves. Of course. And gumbo is the name that followed. That's why in all Creole dishes, all American dishes that are African American, that's uh, you know created. That's correct. Have have um, has that. Once you're making a sauce with it, once okra is involved, it's called gumbo. Gumbo. I think mixing the how do you say the dumpling? The, the coconut duff. The duff. Duff. The duff. So the duff with the sauce, sauce and the fish. Yeah, man. That's a combination. Right. So we want to show off what, how the many things that coconut can do, mm. and this is why. We did that for you at the Backyard Cafe to show you how many different variety things you're going to get with coconut today. So you already had the coconut bread that went with a pepper pot, one of our national dish. This is also a national dish of ours too, from our African, from our African ancestors, right? The metamji is an, also a national dish too, right? The cocoa rice is also a national dish too. Our different types of curry, right? Proud of that, from our Asian people, Right, the the lao ming and, and the Chinese food. I don't know if you're gonna get to sample we that. Will, we will, we you, you you sample some of the Chinese food, Last man. Night. There's no place on earth that you can get Chinese food like here in Ghana. I think even the guys from the space center out in space, they would call together to get uh, <laughs> for Chinese food there. Right, I'm just bragging a little bit. You know what I mean? Because we have the best. Yeah. <laughs> so Stacy, what do we have here for dessert? So for dessert, we've got. 
salara or red cake we call it mm -hmm. and it's basically like a bread that's filled with sweet coconut and it's a favorite here in Guyana. So, so it reminds me of like a cinnamon bun. Yes. In, in a way. Yes. Just the way it's like, I guess the, the layers, Correct. right? But instead of cinnamon sugar, we've got sweet uh, shredded coconut inside and it has like cinnamon and spices and cloves and it's super delicious. So you gotta definitely okay. try it. Okay, so I'll try one. And this, yes. next to it we have the metai, which are yeah, like... Yeah, this uh, is soft metai. So there are two kinds of metai here you can get in Guyana. It's the crunchy, hard metai, and this one is the soft metai. Okay. So um, it's really like, well, how, how would I describe it? It's like dough, deep fried dough with, with sugar. sugar. Yeah, yeah, you can <laughs> see the sugar. Like the sugar is all the over sugar. it. Goodness, pure So goodness. we start with this, right? Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And he closes his eyes. He's like, oh yeah, I'm going to yes. sleep right here. <laughs> <laughs> so going with Delvin's uh, coconut theme, this is like the perfect finisher uh, for the meal we've had. Pepper pot and metam G and all of the good stuff. Yeah, I love it. Fluffy. You have the fruit throughout. Sorrel, right? Sorrel. And you have coconut. Mm -hmm. And Amazing. it's not too sweet. Mm -hmm. Not too sweet this. It depends on coffee, tea. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. This is fantastic. I'm gonna limit it though. <laughs> you gotta try this, right? Just like that. Metai. So I've had this in Pakistan. I think also in India. You know. Oh yeah. It's sort of like Muslim inspired, the, the soft one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So definitely uh, you would have gotten it elsewhere. This mm -hmm. here is more layered and flaky on the inside. It's like a super thick donut. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Perfect description. You taste a bite of coconut in there too? Mm hmm Yep. From okay. our Muslim brothers and sisters. Lots of sugar. So stir up sugar rush right now, which I need it. Then I wake <laughs> up. Stay awake. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah. And that was our tour today. That's your tour. It's all amazing. Cuisine. Are, your, are your taste buds happy? Super happy. Yes. Oh man, this is yes, amazing. Yes, we accomplished what we, our mission. Yeah, I barely slept last night, but we had an incredible tour today. I think it was like seven hours straight. We started at the market. The Borda Market? Borda Market. Borda Market. We explored, we tried fruits, we tried coconut with uh, with rum. rum, we tried salt fish and pepper. Yes. I mean, a big array of things happening there. Just, you know, just hustle and bustle, right? That's like real local life. Then from there, the Backyard Cafe, our chef friend over here made an incredible array of food for us. So we had the pepper pot, we had the coconut <sighs> bread. Coconut bread. Yeah. We had the egg ball. The egg ball, sorrel drink. Sorrel. You had a punch a punch rum punch with el dorado again and uh, uh metamg 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 is the one i can remember right fried butterfish fried butterfish then we had the sorrel bread we had the meta and guys i hope you enjoyed this video in georgetown guyana big thanks to my friends over here at visit guyana for bringing me over here i am super excited this is the first day we just started and i'm full <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good. Well, guys, mission accomplished mission mission accomplished. Accomplished. thumbs up comment below subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content we'll see you in the next one here in georgetown chef delvin adams from the backyard cafe Mr. David Hoffman from David's been here. We're all here in the Backyard Cafe having a fantastic nice. time. Chef Delvin has been cooking up a storm and David, we've been eating up a storm. I'll tell you some of the, my favorite dishes ever. Pepper pot, so delicious. Also the egg ball, fantastic. The setting here, the, what was it, the rum punch? Yeah, the oh, rum punch. So all good. All locally made rum. Yes, yeah, sir. Thank yeah. you so much. We you, appreciate you're it. You're welcome. Yeah. Thanks for coming and glad to have you here again. Guys, follow the Backyard Cafe on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. Give him a follow. And the next time you're visiting Guyana, you gotta come to the Backyard, Backyard Cafe. Cafe.